Hey, what's going on everybody? Snowy back with another video. And today what I have for you is a solo critical run and we're gonna be playing as Sledge. The map we're playing on is Liberty Island. And for today's loadout, we're gonna be running the AR-33 with a 1.5 times sight, compensator, and vertical grip. For the secondary, we're running the P226 with a suppressor and we're running revive kit and paralysis nades. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. So if you're new to the channel, I just want to say welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. We do tons of extraction content. And if you want to stay updated on the latest extraction news, please consider subscribing and dropping a like on the video to see more content in the future. It really does help and I appreciate it a lot. But let's go ahead and jump right into it. First up, we have Serial Scan. Then we have MIA Lion, then we have Sabotage, so the first objective is definitely going to be our hardest one, but we will see how we do nonetheless. Today we're playing as Sledge, he's definitely a super fun operator, I don't know how practical he is, I don't think he's very good, but he's definitely fun, so can't hate him for that. It allows you to just break through walls whenever you want. You can create some great rotation holes and be able to escape from every angle. So that is the one nice thing about him. Also, I do believe we got Chimera Fog as our modifier, so it is pretty hard to see, and I do apologize for that. Oh, wow. Apex already, huh? I can't see. Alright, we took down the Apex. Man, this fog is definitely making it hard to see. Wow. <laughs> he doesn't know what he's shooting at. Homie was shooting at the wall. That's kind of funny. Ooh, it looks like we have a ton of nests on the ceiling, so we took care of those. Hmm. Alright. We're just going to try to sweep out all these nests real quick. I'm just going to go ahead and throw this. Make our life easier. Wow, where are they all coming from? I have no idea. Maybe there's a nest in here, I think. Oh, it's from an apex. Another apex. Alright, nice, we got that Apex too. So, so far that's two Apex down. And now we just need to find the Serial Scan Zone. And clear out possibly any of the remaining nests. Aha, it looks like it's over here. I'm going to go ahead and hit it. We're not going to hop on the zone immediately. We're going to clear out some more of this sprawl first. Uh, mop all of this up. There was also a React tech over there, maybe, or a health, I think. So we're going to go pick this up over here real quick, and then we will head back and start this serial skin. So, let me know down in the comment section below what you all think about Sledge. Do you enjoy playing him? The biggest thing for me is that his guns really aren't that great. The L85 isn't bad by any means. So I just don't really enjoy it. And his gadget is fun, but it really doesn't do anything to benefit the team, in my opinion. He can be fun, though. He's also pretty meme as well. I think with the hammer, it's fun to hit enemies sometimes. Wow. This dude is not letting up on the spawns. We'll take him out before we start this next zone. This is just getting too crazy for us. Alright. He's down. Oh, there must be two. Alright, we were able to take both of them out. Also, we wiped out what I believe was the final remaining nest. 
so that's very helpful. We're going to go ahead and drop down onto the second point here. It's going to be hard to see which way they're coming from with all of this fog, but we'll just uh, hold these corners and hope to shoot the enemies first. Wow. The game is not our friend today. Nice, we got that one. Go ahead and sweep up all of this sprawl before we hop onto this point. I wish for the uh, sake of the video we weren't getting apexes and we were getting something like smashers. And then I would be able to showcase to you guys how Sledge can stun the uh, some of the higher tier enemies and then assassinate them for free. Wow. I can't see anything, I'm not gonna lie. Normally I don't have too much trouble in this game, but this is a little crazy for me. But nonetheless, we were able to do it. Okay, we're just leaving. No more apexes for me today. Please. Please, no more apex. I think we got two spawns per zone. Which is pretty ridiculous, I would say. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this react tech. Oh wow, I'm going the completely wrong way. We're gonna have to run back to the zone. That was where Sledge's hammer was nice. I was able to create a little rotation hole there super fast. And sneak by the enemies. Alright, close that. React tech. Ammo. And health. Perfect. Health is the one thing we did need for sure. So, I don't think this gun that I'm using, the AR-33, is his better weapon. I think the better weapon is the L-85, I believe is what it's called. And that's the one I would use when playing Sledge seriously. We got some invisible people from the lurker enemy. A few more explodey guys. Take them out. Once again for this video, I hope you guys are able to see the map pretty well. As to be honest, I can't even see it with the fog is a little bit too crazy. Also, when the uh, lurkers rush you like that, like that guy charged at me, just go for the head and you'll be able to one-shot him if you didn't know that. I'm sure most of you already knew that. We're going to go ahead and open up a bunch of holes just in case we need to get out of a sticky situation. And we're looking for a missing operator here, so... Alright, I hear him. We're going to have to mop up all this sprawl before we grab him. Alright, let's see where the vines are all going to. There, there, and there. Okay, we can go ahead and grab. Alright, perfect. That's all three of them, and I don't believe any more respawn. Any more of the vines come out on solo difficulty, so we're just going to be able to pull him right out.
Just a little more. Hang in there. Another thing I would love to know down in the comment section is are there any more co-op games coming out that you guys are looking forward to? This is definitely one of my favorite genres of game, co-op shooters and basically any co-op game. And I personally am really looking forward to Star Wars Lego, the Skywalker Saga, I believe is what it's called. I'm actually thinking about possibly doing a playthrough of that on the channel and would love to know if that's something you guys want to see. Obviously it'll be months off from now. But... And obviously Extraction won't be going anywhere. I'll be covering that for a long, long time. But might mix in some little fun games here and there. In the co-op genre. Alright, we got plenty of health, I think. Some more React tech. And next up is Sabotage. So if we are able to sneak through this and not get caught by any of the enemies, this could actually be our easiest objective we've had yet. Break through this wall. I wish there was a big enemy, once again. I'm gonna hit this guy with the hammer. <laughs> nice. I guess, I guess it could be valuable for that as well. You can also hit the nests like this if you want to. So, pretty cool. Go ahead and get these spores off of myself so they don't blow up. Oh wait, this isn't sabotage at all. Or I mean shut down at all. This is sabotage. So this is another defensive mode. This is going to be hard actually. Wow. The game is crazy, man. I hope this is not a sign of what's to come with the defensive objective. Oops, I didn't even get all the uh, spores off me. That kind of was bad. Go ahead and plant those charges. That's going to make some Archeans pretty unhappy. Stay frosty. Wow, another Apex. Can't see anything. Hopefully there's not an alien sneaking up behind me or something. Right, we were able to take him out. And the only reason I'm moving over here is I thought there might have been some more health that I saw, but maybe it was just these things. And we don't really need more ammo, so I'm not even going to bother wasting the time to pick that up. Alright, well if that is the case, I'm going to go ahead and reinforce a couple of these walls just so we have our back covered a little bit better. And we'll go ahead and get this thing started. Alright, the one bright side is there is just one pillar to defend, but if the enemies we've been fighting have been any indication of what's to come. I'm thinking we're going to have a lot of apexes, so this should be fun. Yep, immediate. Oh, wow. We might actually be in trouble here. This is not good. One down. This is a little bit too much for me, man. There's four. Yeah, so 
That was crazy. Endless Apex spawns. Nobody likes that. We're gonna have to work our way over to that extraction zone without getting killed, and Sledge might actually help us for that a lot. Oh, wow. This is easily the hardest solo run I've ever had, and the fog is not helping at all either. So we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. We failed the objective and things got way too tense. But, can't really blame myself or feel too bad there. That was just a crazy amount of apexes. Four in at the literally a matter of ten seconds. Absolutely crazy. We still did manage to rack up a decent amount of XP. Um, didn't get the final objective once again, but 16,000 with a 90% bonus for a total of 31k. All right, not too bad, people. Once again, thank you so much for watching. If you are new to the channel, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much again for stopping by. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Snowy out.